five years ago I was just a regular garments worker and now the same me I can't believe that I'm graduating this May this just seems too good to be true I'm Sabina Yasmin I'm majoring in politics philosophy and economics and I'm the youngest child in my family when all my elder sister got married financial burden was increasing so in 2016, I took a job in a garment factory. So I just gave up on my dreams. If we are given educational opportunity and the training properly, we can go further. So when the team from UW went to our factory to give a workshop, the person was taking the workshop, the confidence, that was the boldness I wanted in me. I was the first one to raise hand. Okay, I'm going to apply. In 2006, we started a collaboration with the Asian University for Women to provide free education to women in the garment industry. The university provides full scholarship and the factories continue to pay the student salaries during the five-year study course. I was like, even though I do not work anymore, my family is getting the money, which is most important. There was nothing like they won't pay, I wouldn't be here. The ready-made garment industry is the first formal sector for female employment. Through this industry, women have got the opportunity to be economically independent, socially empowered, and aware about their rights and dignity. Women's participation is increasing in top position, and they are performing very well. The best with AOW is quality education. I was prepared enough to do something by my own without anyone's help. So I started with a small box, made it with my own hands, pads inside that, so the students, sudden period, they can use a pad from that box. And we do have plan to have my own sanitary napkin brand. Now with the confidence I have, and I can work on my dreams to be a change maker, to have my own NGOs in future. So that's my ultimate goal, where I'll be preparing myself to you know, make them true.